Hello and welcome to a short episode of John's Non Sequitur. It's just a bunch of things today that I thought of that I didn't take time to write down or organize or anything else. I didn't even take time to put a hat on so you can see that I'm balding. You can see that I'm getting old. You can see I'm just another white guy with a bunch of opinions that don't really relate to anything and aren't meaningful and aren't well thought out. First of all, I was driving home today, and has this ever happened to you? You're singing a song, and you're like, because you don't know the words. Or you're like singing the song, and you jump the gun a little bit, and you start singing before the words are actually in the song, but then you're like, I got to own it, so you keep singing, and then you just repeat the lyrics. Or the third thing that happened to me specifically today, I'm listening to a song, I'm like, blah, 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 and then I screwed up the lyrics, and even though there was nobody else in the car, I skipped to the next song because I'm like, uh-uh, I don't want anybody to know I did that. But then I decided the best way to handle this is to tell everyone that I sing songs in the car badly, don't know the words, and sometimes skip them because I embarrass myself. Okay, there's that thought. That's out of the way. Next, next, I want to talk about teachers, okay? When, when, uh, when you hear adults talk about teachers, they're usually like the reason that kids are so terribly behaved is because teachers just give them everything. The same people are like, teachers used to beat us and it was horrible. So what in between do you want? Do you want the kids to be like, like tortured? Or do you want the kids to be like, here, be a free thinker? Because I think that's all that's happening. They're being free thinkers. So what if they don't get grades? As long as they're participating, okay? As long as they're trying to apply themselves, that's what matters. In the real world, you don't get graded. You get fired. So, as long as you apply yourself in the real world and you're not not doing the work, then you get to keep your job. Your shitty, shitty job, whatever it may be. So in my opinion, if, if you have a problem with the way your kids are being taught, homeschool them if you think you're so goddamn smart and you're so right about everything. Roger Waters used to sing songs about how horrible his teachers were. Now the teachers are too soft. What the fuck do you want? And by the way, the kids aren't the reason the world is so fucked up. The kids don't vote for shit. They don't put people in charge. They don't make the rules. They literally do whatever you teach them to. Kids are not controlling anything. If the kids are bad, it's on you. It's not on other parents. It's not on the kids for watching the phones that you handed to them. It's on you. Okay. And also... You know how you, used, you, you like to say that in my day, we went outside, we played around a lot, we were outside running around? You also won't let them go outside because you're afraid they're going to get stolen by somebody. So you let them come inside, watch TV, go on the thing and be like, kids today are in front of the TV too much as you are posting online. You're posting online right now about how they use the computer too much. On the computer! And also, just a topic that I figured I, I never bring up is, is sports. For those of you last night who were like, I'm a Falcons fan today because I'm not a Patriots fan. 2001, the Patriots played the Rams. These guys right here, that's Kurt Warner's jersey. They played the Rams, and everybody that I knew was like, come on, Patriots, beat the Rams. I can't stand good things. I have to have the underdog win every single time. And look what happened. The Patriots won. They went on to win four more of them. And last night, everybody's like, go Falcons because I'm tired of the Patriots. Blah, 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 blah. What if the Falcons won? Then they won like three more. They'd be like, oh, go anybody but the Falcons. And then the Patriots make their way back to the Super Bowl with somebody other than Tom Brady. And you're like, go Patriots again. You just conveniently forget history sometimes, people. You think that's it? Yeah. Okay. I think that's all I had today. It was nothing, really. Uh, I'll be back some other day with some coherent thoughts. Bye.